Well, I got plenty of food in my pocket. Is it through here? I don't think we need to go to the... Oh, never mind. Other way. Oh, there you are, Crow. Hey there, guys. Oh, what's up, Reen? I see curiosity got the better of you too, eh? <laughs> no helping that, I guess. I wondered if maybe you'd found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat, too. George is just staring into my soul, tapping on that keyboard. Do you wonder if he, he will stop? Please, okay. Thank you, see, stop Whoa, looking thanks. at me. I was just thinking I could use a little sugary pick-me-up to get my brain back on track. This is one tasty looking apple pie. That's sure, that's how you eat apple pies. Oh, thanks. I'm feeling all fired up now. You seem pretty taken with this thing, huh? Can't say I blame you though. Yeah, it's really amazing. Whatever it is. <clears throat> So, what do we know so far? I'm glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, something I can hardly even begin to describe. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron. And it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has properties of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money it'd make your head spin. Wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient artifact? You mean like something from the era before the Septian calendar? I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. You can see it most clearly in the ornamental detailing and the joints. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I've got no idea when it was made or who could even have built it. It'd help if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but... No such luck there. Piloted? You're telling me someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? Well, the measurements I've taken seem to indicate a hollow area in the chest. And it's just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open. Man, it's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around. Yeah. Crazy, right? Jellica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. It's still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened. And then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest babes for herself. <sighs> Again. <laughs> Still sore, are we? It feels like so long ago now. To think that was just last year. You're right, though. It's hard to imagine her just staying put when she knows there's a party going on. I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking about. <laughs> you got that right. But hey, the festival's in full swing. We should be seeing the sights, not poking around down here. What do you say the three of us cruise the campus and see if we can score some honeys? <laughs> no can do. My sister should be showing up soon, and I promised I'd show her around. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right, have fun. I think I'll pass on the honey hunting, but I guess it's a good time to pack it in for today. 
I don't want to miss your concert later. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing all this time. Well, I hope we don't disappoint. All right, cool story, bro. I could go and, you know, fight some strong enemies by myself if I really wanted to. They probably wouldn't have let me enter that. Almost 10 a.m., which means at least should be here any minute now. Might be good to make my way over to the front gate and wait for him. Can't be serious, him? Whoa, slow down, old man. Are you sure this isn't le this invo's legit? That's just how I thought you'd react. Hate to say it, but it's true. Once the word's out, it's gonna spread like wildfire too. I can't believe this. Not after everything he's done for us. Damn. We need to talk to Michael right away. That was really not the time to interrupt. All right, they just dropped some names, probably from something. I oh, like. Look who it is. Hey. Oh, Swarzer. Here, tell that you all had a part in the curious events of last night. Just to be sure, none of your classmates were harmed in the process, were they? Nope. We all came out just fine. Managed to get some rest in too, so we were all ready to go to today. I never expected to hear that question from you. What makes you ask? Hmm. I just don't want you to make excuses after your inevitable defeat. That said, you're certainly a reckless bunch, aren't you? Spending the night before our concert tackling monsters of the likes of which you've never seen seems rather foolish <laughs> worrying about your friends in class 7 again your kindness never fails to touch my heart Patrick Master Patrick that's not the point I'm of this inquiry it, it, it's meant to be a mockery Reg regardless our preparations are on the verge of flawless prepare to be amazed I will best of luck I don't need your luck. Yep, yep, okay. Good luck. I don't think I can do anything else, but I'm saving anyway just because. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, Rin! Is something the matter? You look awfully tired. Did something happen? Uh, just, you know. And we'll stay in the world, don't worry about it. <laughs> you can tell, huh? I was running all over yesterday. Mainly rehearsals for our concert today and some other tests last night. Tests? During the festival? My, they certainly don't go easy on you here. Maybe you should go get some rest. You have your concert coming up this afternoon after all. I can look around on my own just fine. Though, well, honestly, if you're not feeling well, I'd rather take care of you. It's nothing to worry yourself over, really. <sighs> nah, I got enough sleep last night to keep me going strong today. If I tried to rest now, it might actually sap my energy. There you go, Rain, just petting people randomly. Never gonna learn. Besides, you came all the way out from Heimdall to visit. I'd rather spend the day with you instead. I can only hang out till noon, though. After that, we've got our final prep for the concert. Reen... <laughs> well, if you insist. If you want to keep me company that much, I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> what should we see first, then? Hmm... 
Oh, maybe we can start with Class 2's indoor garden. How's that sound? We walked around the academy together, and I showed her all of the different attractions on display. Dude. FBI, please. It's a game of luck, so... I guess they're just luckier. Oh, we were attacked on both sides, huh? I took Elise around on a grand tour of the festival. We stopped by all the big class attractions. Why is this voice acting but the last one wasn't? I don't understand. Hopefully, I don't remember it all, but maybe it's better in the second one? Who knows? Bumped into a lot of my classmates and their families, and even ran into instructor Sarah in a couple second years. It'd be nice if it was all voice acted, like most of Personas. Yet another series that I kind of want to end up doing. We'll see. By the time we'd finished seeing everything and chatting with everyone, the morning was nearly over. Schwarzer? Oh, uh, Patrick. Patrick? Oh, looks like Celestine's out enjoying the festivities, too. I believe you are a son of the High Arms family. Lady Elise, you're looking simply splendid today. I was hoping you might be able to make it. All right, keep in your pants, dude. How utterly heartless of you to not tell me she'd be visiting. <laughs> that voice crack, though. Is that any way to treat your bosom buddy? Your dear friend? So what are we now? Sorry. Uh, wait. When did we become dear friends? Oh, my gosh. A good day to you, Master Reen. And you must be his younger sister, who I've heard so much about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer. It's good to see you well, Lord Patrick. Please, please. There's no need for such formalities between us. Just call me Patrick. Okay, patty cakes. Ah, I know. Why don't we take this opportunity to stroll the campus together? Schwarza, what are you doing? <laughs> What problem could you possibly have with my taking this chance to foster good relations between our families? See, that's all well and good, but Elise hasn't made her debut into high society quite yet. Which means it's her brother's duty to shoo away the unwanted pests. Oh, Reen's actually, you know, going that far out. Reen? <sighs> Must you always be such a tyrant when it comes to your sister? <laughs> Come along, Master Patrick. It would be unseemly to disrupt such a beautiful display of familial dedication. There are still preparations to be made for the operetta, so I suggest we depart to tend to those soon. A bell? Oh, that's the noon chime. Was it really that late already? Uh, I suppose I must turn away empty-handed for now. But I hope you're prepared, Schwarzer. When this day is over, we'll know without a doubt which of our classes is the greater. Oh, I already know, but I guess you're about to find out. Oh, Reen's, you know, putting on the burner. Looking forward to seeing your A-game. <laughs> I think you overestimate your chances. 
Victory is as good as mine. I hope you'll be dazzled by my spectacular stage presence, Lady Elise. And assuming you'll be attending the after party this evening, it would be my pleasure to share a dad. Master Patrick, I suggest we hurry to the auditorium. Your classmates are waiting for you. If you'll excuse us, Master Reen, Lady Elise. Thank you, C Celestine. go to school with some rather amusing people. I would have expected a son of one of the four great houses to be a lot less approachable than that. You should have seen him earlier this year. Well, class and titles can only tell you so much. Getting to know Eusis and Angelica really drove that home. At the end of the day, even the most distinguished nobles are more than just their family lineage. Though I can't really say Patrick and I are on the best of terms. Well, if not a good friend, at least he seems to make for a spirited rival, judging by your exchange back there. It's so nice to see all these places you mentioned in your letters, too. I guess you really did make the right decision coming here after all. Yeah, I really did. I feel lucky to have been chosen for Class 7, too. They can be an odd bunch, but I couldn't imagine my life without them now. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. I wish we could spend longer together, but I know you're busy this afternoon. I'll be fine wandering around by myself for a few hours, so go on and start getting ready for your concert. Uh, I'm really sorry to have to leave you flying solo, and maybe a little nervous now. How many other well-heeled nobles are going to crawl out of the woodwork to escort you around the festival? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not a child anymore, you know? Tee hee. The two of you really are the portrait of sibling affection. What? I know that voice anywhere. Y your Highness! And Prince Oliver, too. Good afternoon, Your Highness. <laughs> Token position though it may be, I am the chairman of the board. It's only proper that I pay a visit. I would have liked to come yesterday as well, but I'm afraid I was tied up with a few official duties. Can you believe I had to beg him to take me along? But this is the festival! I couldn't miss it! Now, some of the royal family being in the small place, now everybody's staring at him. Doesn't seem that safe anymore. In fact, I haven't seen you since we met at the summer festival. Right. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Highness. Did you come as their escort, Captain? Basically. I was asked to step in on short notice to handle the security detail. I've been told Class 7 is performing a concert this afternoon. <laughs> Best of luck with that. S thanks. Oh yes, when will the concert be starting, by the way? I'm afraid I didn't have the time to do any research beforehand. They'll be starting around 3 p.m. Although I think another of the classes will be performing an operetta before that. Still, you could have at least told me you'd be coming. This isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> well, I was hoping to catch the two of you clutching each other in the torrid embrace of forbidden love. It sounds like your concert is shaping up to be a grand time, though. I think she's taken after Prince Oliver a bit too much. Would you mind terribly if I tore off my shirt and leapt on stage to join you all midway through? <laughs> Something about asking that in such in that tone just makes it a lot more funny. <laughs> uh, we're mostly just amateurs when it comes to music, so I'm not sure that'd be such a good idea. You know, I don't see Major Vander around. Is he not with you today? Unfortunately not. You've probably heard a few rumblings about it already, but there's been another development in the Crossbell situation today. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considering military action, aren't they? Well, try not to worry yourself about that right now. If it helps put you at ease, I can't really see there being a war, regardless of what happens. The gulf in military power between our two nations is far too wide. It would be suicide for them to try to fight us. The Calvert Republic isn't standing idle either, so I imagine it'll end up a deadlock between superpowers. 
Under ordinary circumstances, I probably would have passed on coming today. But I thought that coming here with Alfin might actually alleviate tensions. Governor Regnitz, Rufus, and Chairman Arena are all here as well. I would presume they share the same opinion. Meaning, all the hotshots of, you know, our country are here. Well, mostly all of them. So it's a prime spot for someone to attack. Huh. Right now, you've got a concert to give. And I want you to focus all your energies on making it one to remember. Not for me or Alfin, or even for your schoolmates. Do it for yourself. Thank you, your highness. We'll give it all we have up there today. What's all this chit-chatting over here, you two? Care to let us in on your little gentleman's club? You guys are standing right next to us. You can hear us. And spill the secrets of our man-to-man -man bonding? Perish the thought. Anyway, Alfin and I would be happy to escort Elise around while you're indisposed. We'll bring her along to your concert, of course, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, your highness. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be praying for your success. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you shine up there on the stage. Okay, I guess I should head over to the auditorium now. We have to take care of some last minute preparations, and I suppose I should catch Class 1's operetta too. Okay. Might as well save over this. Alright, I guess we're going to 10 o'clock today, maybe. That loop clap. Wait, did we did we just get to the best part, the ending? They could have found a, a longer loop for clapping. That was incredible. I'll take your word for it. Well, I'm impressed. I had no idea how much work they put into this. <laughs> well, I have to confess, it's better than I'd anticipated. That's going to be one tough act to follow. Can we really measure up? Now I'm not so sure. Are people really going to be into our songs after seeing a performance like that? All right, who's going to give the pep talk? Come on, don't start getting all wishy-washy on me now. If your rehearsals are anything to go by, you're gonna bring down the house. You really think so? She's right, we'll be fine. Our concert packs more than enough impact. Don't overthink this too much. You just gotta believe. Just gotta believe? <laughs> this is no time to start doubting ourselves. What more can we give than our best? Well, hopefully, all those practice sessions help us get it right when we're in the spotlight. As soon as Class 1 clears out their set in props, we need to start setting everything up. Roger. I'm so excited I could explode! We're coming in! Okay. Toa? George? Here to give a little comfort to the weary soldiers fighting the good fight? Based on how they're standing, I'm assuming someone's here. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Actually, we have a special guest who insisted on seeing you. Knew it. Coming in. Yep, knew it. <sighs> huh? It couldn't be. Uh, Angelica? <laughs> Looks like I made it just in time for the main event. Kind of disappointed I missed the operetta, though. Heard class one was really on fire. You made it! Just barely. But man, when did you get to be such a babe? 
Well, a good suit and tie are more to my taste. But this was part of the deal I made with my dad to let me come. He said I could visit the festival if I agreed to meet a few prospective candidates for an arranged marriage. So, here I am, dress and all. You better get a good look now. Who knows when I'll wear something like this again. <laughs> well, if that's your aim, you're certainly dressed for victory. Yeah, but I think it might draw out your charm a little too well. Most normal people would take one look at you and think you're completely out of their league. <laughs> you do look lovely, though. <laughs> Thanks, but honestly, I've got nothing on the rest of you fair maidens. Ah! Um, police assault? Oh, Angelica! Ah, nothing like the pure, fresh scent of a woman. Assault, please. All I've Help. had to look at since going back home is my dad's grumpy old face. I'm in heaven right now. Oh, good grief. Well, I suppose some things never change. Come on, Angie. All right, I've got my fix. Time to move on to my little ladies. FBI? Uh, so warm, so soft. <laughs> that tickles! I should have seen this coming. Angie, don't get too carried away now. You do know they could file a sexual harassment claim, right? Yep. <laughs> it's good to have her back. I'm so glad she managed to make it after all. Looks like the winds are favoring us today. I'm looking forward to your concert. From what I hear, you've got quite the show in store for all of us. Don't go getting yourselves too wound up. Just remember what you practice, put your all into it, and I'm sure the audience will be right there along with you. Yeah, it's your time to shine. Go on and have the time of your lives, guys. Good luck out there. Oh, good. Ow. Like, I like the sound bite didn't quite work with it. everyone I'm wondering if they're actually gonna do songs and if they are if I'm even allowed to you know have them play but we'll see next our Academy's very first class 7 is proud to present a concert okay battle music sure Impressive you're singing a violin. I didn't think humans could do that, but you know, you proved me wrong. Everybody has a guitar. There's no bass, but they all look like guitars. Okay, everybody can do sing violin, apparently. Must be a special uh, feature of this world. I'm pretty sure that's an electric guitar. But I'm not, but I don't know instruments that well, so who knows. Or not electric guitar, electric violin. That brings us to the end of Class 7's performance. Thank you all for coming out. Well, they couldn't have got a bunch of random people to say encore. 
Uncle, her, Uncle, her, Uncle. Her. Uh, what? <laughs> Ladies and gents, you've been a wonderful crowd. And we've heard your cheers loud and clear. So without further ado, I give you our third and final song. It. We're already basic. Oh, look, she's here. Oh, um, I guess that makes sense. She was apparently off the radio for something. Good. I think the crowd's doing my job right now. That song apparently should be something that everybody knows, because apparently in this world, that's like, that's that's basically what they said when they were practicing the song. Who died? Exhausted. Okay, we all died. That's what I thought. I'm hungry. I can't feel my feet. I guess that qualifies as a success then, right? Well, the crowd sure seemed pretty enthusiastic. <sighs> as if I had the mental energy to care about what the crowd thought. <laughs> I suppose that's the difference between professional musicians and amateurs like us. I don't think you guys need to worry. We did just fine. I'll say. The audience's reaction to our encore piece was even better than I'd hoped for. <laughs> I guess your plan paid off then. <sighs> uh, sorry. Uh, can you finish your sentences? Patrick? Oh, it's you. Honestly, this is what bothers me so much about this class. I know you're tired. We're all tired, but that doesn't excuse this level of indolence. <laughs> what concern is it of yours? <laughs> At least you could let us bask in the afterglow of our performance before the moment fades. Still, I gotta hand it to you guys. You 
really pulled out all the stops for that operetta. It was really something. You could take that act to the theater and perform to a sold-out crowd. <laughs> Great casting, too. Paris fit her role to a T. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. You... you did? Well, I can't say I'm surprised, though. <laughs> Given the raw level of talent on display, who'd expect anything less than perfection? Wait, are you mocking me? If you're all languid and moping around, how do you think we feel? Show a little dignity, at least. Hmm? What are you going on about? Aha! Uh -huh. We did it, didn't we? Oh. Pulling that third song out of nowhere is hardly what I'd call fair play. You even had me singing along. I, I, I can't even consider our little wager still valid after that. Good, good day. Nice talking to you too, Patrick. What was that all about? I'm not even sure. It didn't seem like he came here just to thumb his nose at us. Mother, shouldn't you guys be meeting with your families probably leaving by now? Congrats, everyone! You did it! Wait, you can say it through the door, not to us directly? Huh? What brings you all here? Is something wrong? Why are we in their classrooms, by the way? You guys are so worn down, you totally forgot, didn't you? Remember a certain little poll where festival attendees get to vote on their favorite attraction? Well, the results are in. Oh, now that you mention it. We were so busy, I completely forgot about that. So wait, did we... They just finished counting up all the votes from the students and the visitors. Good numbers all around, but classes one and seven were the clear favorites. And this year's winner, with 1,512 votes, I'm, I'm sorry, but there's no way that many people were at the school. I don't believe you. Is Class 7's concert! Oh! Huh. Congrats, guys. Well, at least that's over. Aw, oh, come on. Is that it? That's all the enthusiasm you can muster? Well, after seeing all the other attractions for myself, I feel almost as proud of the other classes as I do us. For what it's worth, my brother and Charles seem to have had a great time. Mishy Panic was an unsung gem. Now that it's over, it feels a little... unsportsmanlike for us to be the only ones boasting about our achievements. Agreed. If anything, seeing everyone having a good time feels like a victory for the whole Academy. <laughs> yep. Every student should feel proud about these last two days. Anyway, I'm here to shake you desk potatoes out of your listless post-festival comas. Or have you forgotten that we still have the after party to enjoy? Oh yeah, there's that. I totally forgot. It's a tradition to close out the festival with a big party for the students, their friends, and their families. Okay, I guess people... Well, some people are probably gonna leave. There's gonna be bonfires, right? And dancing? Bonfire. <laughs> Just sit there. Everyone's waiting for you. All the bonfires are set up too, so just make your way over whenever you're ready. Okay. I think we can muster up the energy for one last event today. What do you say we head on over and enjoy the party? Right. Woo! Party time! Okay, there's a lot more left of this game than I was anticipating. But I guess the final dungeon actually took longer than I thought it would too. Excuse me, I the mic. Oh. Who decided that that hand motion meant talking? I wonder. Did they just did they pour gasoline on this thing? It just lit up. Why are you guys so far away from the oh, fire? Mother and grandfather are still here. They're like super far away. My dad too. And my brother. Though I can't imagine why. Now 
Elliot, Crow. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. <laughs> you mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. It's just that our performance today never would have been possible without the two of you guiding it along. I wanted to make sure that you knew how much I appreciate you doing that. Damn, man. Is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? Aw, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. Huh? You all helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together, playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Elliot. Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? Yep, that's totally what we're doing. Elliot, my boy! Your father's arms are ready and waiting for you to leap into them! <sighs> Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Sorry, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, later. This year's festival's been a blast. I'm kind of hoping we can do the same thing next year, too. Though, who knows if Class 7 is even going to exist next year. Hmm. Crow? Oh, uh, yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation, but... Class 7's basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so... Who knows? I guess that has its pluses and its minuses. But no matter what, it's not going to be the same. We won't have you. If I manage to graduate, at least. Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in class seven till the end of the month. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. Now that you mention it? Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can throw you a farewell party around the end of the month then. Can't let you off easy. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still going to see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. You better. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to have to call you Mr. Armbrust or anything after you graduate, am I? I mean, we've spent so much time together that treating you like a proper adult just wouldn't feel right. <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Well, first, he has to be a proper adult. That's never gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Guess it's about time I gave you this back. Isn't this... Who catches stuff like that? Flip your hand over and catch it the other way. I completely forgot about it. You've done so much for me since then. Saving compared to all that, Oops. 50 Mira is nothing. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Besides, I never return the Mira that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. I... Oh, by the way, you know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Uh, about 300% interest per day. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. 
To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. So, what do you say? You still owe me? I swear, the things I do for love. All right, all right, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. Oh, the awkward box shuffle. Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame, like a starving man to a banquet, like beauty to me. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Uh, everybody knows the awkward box shuffle. Come now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. <laughs> No need to worry about formalities tonight. Let's all relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. Allow me, Sharon, before every red-blooded boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> it would be my honor. Madam Chairman. Might I have this dance? <laughs> of course. Given that our former partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for my daughter. I can, however, ask you for the pleasure of this dance. Really? <laughs> What was that reaction? Ooh, he's just my type, too. Oh, hmm. Oh, just talking to myself. Well, I'll be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon, but I never expected to see Mother dancing. <laughs> In some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having fun, though. Shall we join them? You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. And besides, I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not us them instead? Okay, that's not what I said. Someone else. Okay, so these are the people who I can actually choose. Wait, what does actually does this mean? Okay, so in order to unlock these... You needed... For anyone in class 7, except for a million crow... You need over 2,000... Or 5,250, or higher. Um, fling points. Did the bike thing. Attending their attended their bonding event chapter six and spent two ticket festivals. So there's a lot of that. Um, and then Crow and Malin just need the same, but 3,500 prior. Um, why would you ask Crow to dance? It's kind of a funny thing. It'd be interesting to see that one day. But instructor Sarah is also an option with 44. Same. Toa, 2,000, and the same. 
Next thing you event in chapter 5 instead. Okay. Um, trophy hunters, okay. Yeah, in order to, for trophy hunters, you're gonna have to redo this boss, last boss fight, like, eight, nine different times or so. To do everything, maybe even more, jeez. That's, that's gonna be something, if I ever want to do that. Apparently in your second playthrough you can, like, dance with no one. That's, that's weird. Okay. You, you know what we're choosing here. <laughs> I knew it! So, I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? Maybe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I will go ask her. I do feel kind of bad leaving you here on your own, though. I'm fine, really. Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Well, okay. He's such an idiot. Ah, oh, Elise. Your Highness? How'd you end up over there? You were on the opposite side of the bonfire, like, a few seconds ago. The generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be more than accommodating. It's fine. I'm fine, honestly. Elisa. Reem, is your sister okay? Yeah. Actually, she's the only reason I had the courage to come over here. Would you dance with me? What? Me? That was the idea. Uh, is that a no? Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's get a little closer to the bonfire then. Oh, she's gonna push you in, Reen. Look out. Okay. Looks like we're like ashing away, kind of, with the like the particle thing going over there. Thanos, please stop. <laughs> Everyone's still at it. <sighs> I wish I still had that much energy left. Still, it's not like there's a lot more festival to use it on. It's strange. It feels like the whole year's been building up to this festival, but... Yeah. It felt like it was over in the blink of an eye. Both the festival and the year as a whole. I mean, half year. <laughs> exactly. It won't be long until the second years graduate and we'll be in their shoes. Time really does fly, huh? Yeah. It's hard to believe so many months have passed since we all first met. But I do have to wonder whether any of us have gotten any closer to figuring out what we're going to do with our lives. I wish I knew. I might have looked confident when I told Mother that I'd show her how to run the company by the time I graduated. But that was in the heat of the moment. I honestly don't know whether I'd drive Reinford straight into the ground or not. How could you know? Still. Still, there's one thing I do know. No matter how difficult the odds, our class always finds a way through. 
Growing up should be no different. Still, <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> I think you need some new material. I'm getting used to your speeches by now. As are we all. Well, that, and I believe it. I think everything is going to work out as long as our class is together. As long as you and I are together. I... Uh, <laughs> uh, forget I said anything. Elisa. Uh, then let's stay together. We're still looking for our places in the world, but maybe they're right next to each other. I hope so. Me too. After that, I went back to see Elise. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. Reen? Elise? Claire? Good evening, Captain. You must be exhausted. Oh, <laughs> well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumnus. Wait, what? You're a student here? Everybody with, like, some sort of ability was, apparently. That's right. I was part of the Academy's 216th graduating class. Wait, what? The school's had its 130-something... Wait, no. Can I think about something else? I, I don't know. And since you'll be part of its 221st, I suppose that makes me five years your senior. Okay. I, I had no idea. Why didn't you mention it until just now? Given that we only ever met while you were on your field studies, it didn't seem pertinent. Besides, once people graduate, they tend to leave their ties to their school behind. Especially here at Thor's. Because it's a military academy? Exactly. Roughly 40% of the graduates here go on to join the military. Not always the same branch or even the same army. About 30% join the Imperial Army, and 10% go to a provincial force. Students who are best friends one day might find themselves enemies the next. Reen. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your happy mood like this. But I'm sure you're well aware of what may lie ahead. That we're teetering on the brink of an era of upheaval. I'm aware. Um, does this have something to do with the issues in Crossbell I've been hearing about? Yes, amongst other things. It seems as though everyone on the continent is ready to go to war with everyone else. But that's why it's so important that we're able to stand strong no matter what happens. Though, judging by how well Class 7 has performed on their field studies, I'm sure you'll all be fine in that regard. <laughs> Here's hoping that I get the chance to help you out again sometime. Even if I'll have to be careful not to draw the ire of that instructor of yours while I'm doing so. <laughs> I'm just glad to know that you have her back. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're quite well... Please, excuse me a moment. Yes, Revelt speaking. Mm-hmm. What? What's going on? And you're certain of this? Understood. I'll return at once. Yes, I will escort them back to Valflame Palace myself. I'm afraid I have to excuse myself. Uh -huh. What is it now? I'm really sorry, Elise. My brothers requested that we return to Heimdall right away. But as we're going back by car, I thought I'd offer you a ride home. But... Elise, I think you should go back with them for now. I'll call you later to make sure you're okay. Well, all right. 
Sorry to drop this on you so quickly, Reen. I'm sure someone from the Academy will fill you in shortly. Fill me in? On what? If you'll excuse us. Don't worry. We'll be sure to get Elise back to the Academy safely. The Academy? I, I guess the, the dorms, maybe? For the San Estrella or something? Maybe should have more than two guards. I guess three, but you know. Well, there goes all the people who probably know what's going on. Okay, goodbye. Rain. Does anyone have any idea what's going on? I'm afraid not. I've never seen father behave like that before. My mother's the same way. She got a message of some kind and just changed. Ditto my father. I think it was someone from Heimdall who got in touch with him. One thing is certain. Something terrible has happened. My dad turned pale and was gone before I could ask what happened. It sounded like he received a report from Instructor Neidhart, though. Hold on. Neidhart's supposed to be... He was at Gorelia Fortress with the 4th Armored Division on some sort of mission, right? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Toa or Instructor Sarah? Oh, there they are. Oh. Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. Okay, yeah, I thought it was like 127th. How was she the 200 and something's class? And where the 221st class? When it's been around for less or a little over half that. I, I don't understand. Whatever. I mean, I guess that's the festival has only been doing going on for this long. But I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial government that this evening, Gorelia Fortress, which rests on the eastern border of the Empire, has been destroyed. No, destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from existence. I would ask that all of our guests, from that region or otherwise, please try to remain calm. Hey guys, hope you liked that. If you did, please consider giving me a, a subscribe, a like, follow, all that stuff on all these places here. As you can see, I have a Twitch with Luminifus Quack where I record these and play games, all this stuff, a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, if you, and of course, yeah, you can follow me on YouTube here, or subscribe. Luminous is back here, and then you have Twitter, where you can get um, notifications and all that good stuff, um, and new things going on, where I send messages and all that stuff. So please consider all that stuff, and have a good one. <laughs>